Okay, I think I did it. I figured it out. Again, this was a learning curve. So I have to have the landscape mode on the iPad in order for the larger screen to show up for you guys of the other one. So I'm hoping that this works. It looks more normal to me now and I can see the full thing. And I know I lost a whole bunch of you in the process, but I, that would have tortured you and it would have tortured me if we left it. So I think that between that and that, that you should have all the big screens now. I'm hoping that works. Hi, there we go. Okay. Yes, I'm back. Yeah. Well, no, there's no problem with the, that was user error. That's not technology error. That's my problem, not the computer. So what I did find out was that I have to have my iPad in landscape mode. Um, even though it's not really the one that I'm filming from, it, it kind of set, determines how the whole thing works. So that was good. I learned it. Yay! Um, okay, so you ready? We're going to disappear. Back over to here. Yay! Look at this. Love it. Thanks for your patience, you guys. I had to stop watching you from last night to see you live. <laughs> Teresa, that's awesome. You're so cute. Okay, so again, I, I'm not going to lie. There's nothing designed. We're just kind of winging it. Uh, I think I saw something, you know, that's all good. Yeah, so now I know that about Minicamp. I have learned so many things in the past few days. So what we're going to start with is I've got that Whisper White card base. I have got, um, I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go with the wider piece being this striped piece here. Okay, so it is five and a half by, let me just measure it for you so that someone can say, can't say to me that I didn't give them the measurements. Five and a half by two and three quarters. Okay, and then that means that I'm going to do this one. Da, da. It's way bigger. She's like, oh my gosh, you guys crack me up. I know, but Kim, you'd be so proud of me. I have worked so hard on this. I uh, really like that. I'll do one and a half. I think that's all I need. Um, to make sure that I understand this mini camera to make it work. Because I really didn't want to bail on it. I was like, it's pretty user friendly, but I'm not loving you know, I wasn't loving my issues I was having with technology. Okay, that's what we wanted there. We're going to do that. And then we're going to cut this just to make it five and a half so it's perfect. Um, anyway, so I stuck with it. Kim and her husband ran tech support with me. We did all kinds of stuff. We figured out that it killed my computer. So I've gone back to using, I've got an iPad and a phone set up. And then I can see you guys on my computer. So I'm streaming through it versus, and this might have been the issue. Hello, loves. Kim's like, I'm so... Well, I know, but Kim, I think I would have given up probably about a week earlier than I did had it not been for you guys. And then I tried the Switcher Studio, and I was like, eh, it's okay. Um, it wasn't as intuitive to me, and it was a ton of money, so I was like, forget it. Okay, you're going to get two kids in there, guys. Just deal with it. I need to do something first. Anyone else ever have this issue? I can't glue things down until I've got... That's got a good crease in it. I hate to ask, is there a sound lag for anyone else? Oh, no, don't even say Corey, you know what it's going to be then? I think it could be the time of day, too, because it's perfect when I did it midday, like no issues. Yeah, and see, so like Denise is saying she's got a time lag, but Mia's saying no, she doesn't. So I think what that comes down to is it has to do with where you are and what Internet's like in your area. Um, and if, if it's killing you guys, I promise you, don't want to send me if you get off, but I know that it is, uh, if, if I'm getting a lag right now, it's more to do with the internet versus me because it does work perfect during the day. So I need to get my butt organized and get on earlier is what I should be doing. Okay, there we go. So we're going to adhere that piece to the front. We have got this far. Ta -ta. You're a long way away from me. Yeah, it all kind of depends, I think, on where you, where you are. Okay, so we're going to Kim explain that to me. She's like, you, and you have to kind of not worry about the leg for some people because it all depends on where they are, what internet's like, whatever. So you're going to get people who get lag. Okay, so next, I am going to come into here, and I'm going to grab my giant tree stuff. Yes, people? Um, we're going to need a clear block. I do remember I put those. I wish, oh, actually, I should show you. Can I show you? I can show you. Do you want to see something cool? I'm going to take you down off the wall. And I'm going to show you where my iPad stand is. Look at my iPad. Does anyone remember these? These were the inserts from the Big Shot uh, die boxes. And I kept one. I don't know why. Anyway, I keep my clear blocks stored in it. And now it is like this perfect stand for my iPad. Hello, Teddy. Hang on. 
Oh, Denise is going to bed. Good night, Denise. Oh, no, she's going to get her son from work. Hello, Teddy Madden. How are you? I'm looking all over. Where am I looking? Hello. Okay, so we're going back. I'm such a dork. Um, next thing we need. I'm going to grab us. So, oh, not from that package. Look at my scrap bag is pretty sparse right now. We're going to grab some Whisper White regular cardstock. Ta -da. Ta -da. There we go. And then I am going to grab, I've got some scrap DSP. And I'm going to use some early espresso because there is some early espresso right in this one, okay? Why? Because I like to do my super weird thing. Inception. I know it totally is, eh? It's all super weird when you look around and you see, like, how do you do that? Well, look at there's a spot. It's making its appearance again. It's on the back of a piece of paper. This is that piece of paper that we've used in those other Facebook lives. And I know it bothers people, so we're going to do that. And there's our flower. Yes? Do you see your flower? Good. Okay. Oh, there's Darlene. Hang on. I need to see Dar This is kind of cool. Hi, Darlene. Okay. Um, there. Go, we'll go back. Sorry, I'm such a dork. Okay, now we're going to use our early espresso ink pads. And we are going to ink it up. Did you? I'm actually going to flip it over. Way easier. Doot, doot, doot. So make sure you are well inked. Get all your little ink spots. Doot, doot, doot. Okay, now, on there, next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stamp this off because I don't want it to be... Oh, it wasn't very dark. That might be too light now. Huh. Oh, well, we can always do two. So... Da, no, that's fine. That works. Okay, so the reason that I wanted this is this is going to be like... Uh, yes, it's a very smart flower. Do you like our flower? This one is going to be um, like a little label, right? So, you know, we die cut little labels that we stick things on. Well, I'm not die cutting a label this time. I am using my little tree round. So we're going to come along. And again, like I said, you guys, I have no idea where this card is going. We're literally creating together. And then tonight, I have to do some designing for my virtual club. Super excited. I don't know why I'm singing. But yes, I am excited. Tonight's a design night. So after I get off with you guys, schoolwork is done for tomorrow or I'm ready with what I have to post. And then I'm going to get Cooper outside. And then I'm going to sit upstairs in my craft room and I'm going to play and I'm going to set a bedtime for myself. Okay. Now, just a sec. I can't look at what you're saying to me because I'm too busy going sideways. You love this set. Hello there, dear. Ah, oh, hello, Bridge. How are you? Oh, Jamie, Jamie, Jamie. There is a parcel at my house for you. Uh, it's your, you know, your one that you arrived. But I have to warn you now, Jamie, you're going to laugh. So my husband texts me and he says, can you give me a call? I've got everything unpacked. I just need to know where to put stuff. So I reply back going, you got all what unpacked? And he said, you're stepping up order. And I said, I didn't have one coming to the house. Anyway, needless to say, Jamie, Sean has opened your package. Everything is there. He has checked it carefully. <laughs> so I'm sorry. <laughs> he was very thorough. So thorough that he doesn't actually read the label in the box. But that's okay because I still love him because the fact was he came home and he tried to sort my stuff out for me. Okay, so we have got that beautiful little tree stump. I love that we have no direction. Oh my gosh. Oh, a virtual classroom. Okay, no, Jode, I'm doing virtual club. So you know like Stampin' Club that we had at my house, like that Technique Club? Well, we have gone virtual. So I now mail everyone their packages in advance. And then we do like our, we have our own private Facebook page. And we do this, um, or I did, a, an hour and a half long Facebook Live. And everybody put their, their projects together. Here, I'll come talk to you guys this way. So, and everyone put their projects together. And then, uh, but this month we're trying a little bit different. We're doing the same idea, but we're doing Zoom so that we can see each other's faces and play that way. So, I've got them both going. I actually have two virtual clubs happening right now. And one is the week behind, or month behind the other one. So, we'll test out both with both groups. I'm kind of excited. Okay, we're going back. I love that. Okay, thank you, Sean. Oh boy, no worries. Past quality control. Oh yes, you gotta laugh at him. He was being very, he was being ruthlessly efficient. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab 
the you are wonderful. I feel like we need a lot more you are wonderful happening in this world right now because there are a lot of people doing very wonderful and amazing things and they are not getting the credit that they deserve out there. Love club. I know. And Liv, it kind of, it was hilarious in that I was super nervous about how it would go, but I loved it too. We, we had fun and I, it'll be even more fun when we figure out this next one we'll do with the zoom. Okay. So I got sweet little Ava's liking the, you like my beauty. Thank you, Darlene. That's my, I'm not doing my hair one. Okay. Now we need to, oh, this is so funny. My mossy meadow here, it is like a sponge. It just, it joops it up. Okay, so hang on, we're gonna do this, just a sec. For those of you who do not know how to rink a stamp pad, you are going to see it now. So we're going to go. And then, you have to make that noise when you do it, it totally helps. Oh, there's always room in club, honey. Again, it's not like you don't have to start in any particular month. You just rotate in. Okay, so, and then look at it. It won't absorb this. It really does not like. This is, I have two ink pads here that they don't like this climate. My, my ink pads at the lake dry out much faster than my ones at home. And this one is one of them, and he does not like it because it's not even absorbing it in right now. We're going to really, we're working it in, people. Work it. Oh, there we go. Now it's going in. Own it. Make sure it all goes into your ink pad. There we go. Oh, it's so juicy. I know. Okay, but he really needed it. Because now it's all worked in. Okay, like that. And then I do have an old cloth over here on the side. Because I use it for my whiteboard <laughs> when I'm working with my kids. Okay, there we go. So let's try this now. So we're going to ink this up again. Do, 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 looking good, making sure I got good coverage, okay, ta-da, hello Natasha, we are, we are really inking up an ink pad, like really inking it up, okay, so this is a lot of fussy cutting, oh look at, I got green ink on there, that's going to drive everyone nuts, we're going to need something new for that, okay, so we're going to go like this, so, there we go, you are wonderful, I'm going to close this up, I stamped it upside down, but that's okay. Nobody cares. Doesn't mean we have to put it on the card that way, people. Okay, let's move this. Other ink spots there. Now, what we're going to do with this one is, again, I'm really kind of sticking to the basics tonight. Basically, if you own scissors, you're good. You're not going to need many die cuts for what we're doing right now. Well, at least at this stage in the game, because I don't know what we're doing after this. Okay, so this has kind of become a thing you're seeing a lot more of. And where I never in a million years would have cut out a sentiment before, I do it now. And I love the look of it. And I'll kind of show it to you as we go. You are wonderful. So my best advice I can give you if you are kind of getting into fussy cutting and you want to do it like as accurately as possible. Yay, a new ink spot. Oh, I know. Okay, but now he's going to need, someone has to figure out what that one is. Because the last one, it was easy. We turned it into a flower. But that's like a splooch. S-P-L-O-O-C-H, in case you're wondering. If you can spell it, it's a real word. Okay. Um, so what I tend to do when I'm fussy cutting, and if you've probably heard this 90 times from me if you come on here regularly, but keep, see how my scissors are staying aimed in the same direction? They're really not moving. Um, and then I'm just swinging my paper around. Okay, Lucas, yeah. mommy's on a live. Oh. Yeah. Hello. He says hello. I'm just saying that before he says something he should not say. Does anyone else have to warn teenagers just to keep it clean? Oh, hang on. Can I just glue the sponge back into the pad? Oh, yeah, absolutely you can. I've done it before, too. Put wings on this flute. Doesn't that stamp come with a die? The word stamp? There are dies. Just a second. I'll show you. The, there's the coordinating dies. Right there, my loves. But there's no coordinating die for the tree round or for the sentiments, okay? Um, but that doesn't matter. You don't, like, because you're, well, there's people out there who don't have die cutting machines. And I want you to see that even without a die cutting machine, you can do some pretty wild and wonderful things. Now, you do get used to the fussy cutting 
I used to hate it. I used to avoid buying anything that did not have dies or a punch. Um, I have outgrown that and I actually, oh, I feel like if I get struck by lightning, I actually find it very therapeutic. I know. Um, to do the fussy cutting. I remember when people used to say that to me and I was like, no way, the only therapy, I'm going to need therapy if I fussy cut, but now, I don't know. I do love it. Okay, there we go. So we've got a you are wonderful. And you can see how that kind of looks, like it really makes it kind of pop and it's really cute. Um, okay, so we're going to get rid of those. Now, I feel like we're going to need to add some additional layers. So, my loves, I feel like I'm going to do, these are kind of fun. Now, what we can do is I'll show you. Um, we've got some gorgeous leaf stamps in here. You. And you. Oh, put on. That one. Sorry, you can't see them right now because I've got them upside down. And then I've got this little bit here. Now, the stamp set that we're using, that Rooted in Nature, it is a two- I lost the other case. Oh, there it is. It is a two set, like a two stamp set, right? Like it's a set with two cases. Does that, I can't even talk. Get a brain ash. I love that your kids are teens and they still interrupt and bug you. Oh, honey, it doesn't, it does not get any better. You've grown to love fussy cutting. Oh, I know. Anyway, but yes. Okay. So no, it doesn't get any better with teens. Ask Jen. Jen, has it gotten any better? Do your teens interrupt you any less now? No. And Another part of my issue at the lake is I'm kind of up in the loft, so I'm in a wide open area. What up, junk? Okay, so next thing I need is I need some petal pink because that is what is in the card. So we're going to grab some of that. And I think I might also get a little bit of mossy meadow. I'm just grabbing bags. I keep all my... At home, they are organized, at least each color, each bag has its own color in it. But here at the lake, not so much. Hello, Kathy. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is I feel like, I'm going to get the big shot ready just in case because I'm not quite sure what we're doing here yet. I'm going to do one of the leaf like this. So first step we're going to do, I'll show you. Move the ink. I do have a cord dangling down, which I'm... Hearing I might, you know, pull the whole phone off the rack, but we'll see what happens. Okay, we've got our bits. I'm going to tuck our bits up top. Guys, keep your bits up top. Everyone got their bits up? Your youngest is almost 19 and still interrupts. Yes, dude. Little kids are little problems. Bigger kids are bigger loves. Yes, nice save. You're loving this card? You might have to buy it. No. Uh, isn't the Rude Nature a really old stamp set? Uh, no, I don't think it's... No, I don't... No, I got it right when it came out. My case is black. Is black. Okay, and so for this one, what we're going to do, we're going to do a couple of leaves. Um, so what I'm actually doing first is I'm, they've got these leaves in here, and you'll see once I die cut them. We're going to go like this. We're just going to test this out. Because again, I don't really have a plan. Your oldest is almost 21, 17, 13. Nope, no minutes to yourself. Bathroom to yourself? Who are you kidding? How are me and the boys? The boys and I are doing well. Oh, I moved that one. Okay, so I'm going to have to run that one through again. Can you see what I did there? Just a sec. Sorry. So you get the little, um, you get like the outline version. We'll do one more with that one. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do next. Thank it. We'll have some pink leaves. There we go. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is there's more dies that are exactly the same. But these dies, I'm going to come in and I'm going to, I'll probably just do one at a time to ensure that I don't schmuck it. Okay, put that one there. And so these ones then go around what you've already embossed. So those first dies were embossing. And then the second ones, oh, it could be lovely as a tree. That absolutely could be it. Nice call. Look at you, Allison. And then these ones come in and they die cut that cute little embossed leaf. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing with our big one. I need new plates. Look at my, even my plates, they're so old now that they actually leave like little bits of paper on things when I die cut. I have to doop, doop, make that one line up. So, da Oh my god, you can now pause lives. I just did that. This is new. You can pause me. 
Well, I, there's all kinds of stuff happening. Have you guys noticed that? Um, unfortunately, the stamp set is per it is perfect for sympathy cards. There's all kinds like the captioning that's now live. That is amazing. Um, pausing lives and then being able to pick it up. Okay, so I've got some. We've got some leafy bits for there. I'll use those. Okay, now I think what I'll do is I'll move this out of the way for a sec. And then we're going to take, I think I'll do, a little bit of you. We need another block. I have to take them out from behind my camera. It was crazy. Okay, but Natasha, like, in our world, these are big things, are they not? Like, I agree with you. Being able to pause a live, you're like, yeah, just a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to do another one on here. Oh, I love the design of this one. Just a sec. There we go. Oh, can you see it? Super good. Love it. Okay. Oh, Telly, Teddy just sent me a video of her and Bella watching Facebook Live. Now, the other one we're going to do is I love this one. And I we're going to die cut it. We're going to use all kinds of bits tonight. It's going to be a, a little bit of a bit one. A bit of a bit. And then I'm going to do this and say, hello. And then I'm going to go back. I'm such a giant dork and I really like this part okay I didn't know that thank you you can go back to the beginning during a live holy doodles see I didn't know that now I don't really want to put this on whisper white I don't want whisper white in the background we'll try one of each because then we can play with them so we'll do oh see but that's so pretty 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 okay move um not you guys me I'm trying to keep track of my bits. So what I'm going to do next is we're going to close that ink up. That's an awesome hack to know. Look at you guys are awesome. Um, no, but we're like these are big deals. When you're a stamper and you're watching videos and you're like, oh shoot, the doorbell just rang, and it's alive. Now you can be like, ha ha, go back. I can watch it again. I can check this out. I feel like I'm going to have to do these separately because I stamped them too close together. Yay me. Now, I have to remember, this die that I'm using right now, uh, this is one of our older dies. So the die set came out before Stampin' Up! switched to that, like, tight fit, right? So this one is a, the old Sizzix die, which means that when I'm die cutting right now, I need to make sure that I've got the kind of little uh, halo around it. Look at this. Hoping to join next time for a full live session. Ooh, that's okay. Thanks for coming over, honey. Okay, so we've got that little bit. And then I feel like I'm going to do our big leaf. I got that on the right way? Nope. Um, this leaf, I wish... Okay, it makes you want to touch the leaf because it's so realistic looking, the way that they've done the um, image. Like it feel... It looks like it should feel rough. Oh, this is so neat. Look at this. People are seeing other people watching. I love that. I love when you see like friends like, hey, look at we're watching this together. None of us are together. I know we're all social distancing. We're doing what we're supposed to do. Okay. Next. Let's pull this. Let's pull our bits and let's see what we've got. Okay. So I'm loving the leaves. I feel like I might tuck some of those into there. There. I guess this is how you kind of play like this. Okay. Um, I want some kind of Jen. Jen, you're good with that stuff. We need something to go behind it to zhuzh it. Like it needs like twine or something. Can you come up with something, please, and just tell me what to do? Good. Thanks, Jen. Okay. So we're gonna put Jen on that. She's got a, a job to do. Yay me is my affirmation. <laughs> I do a lot of that lately. I'm like, do you ever just celebrate yourself right now? I got dressed today. Yay me. Okay. I feel like I need to go look at ribbon. Um, I was going to say, do you guys want to come with me? But if I take you with me, you're just going to see. Hang on. I'll see if I can turn you. There. So you can see at the lake, I've kind of got way over here. A little bit of a different setup. We've got my ribbons on the wall. So it's not like at home. But I'm trying to think what would look good with this. So, uh, I don't really want any of those. What about twine? Can we do some twine? Do you think? Twine, people? Petal pink organdy ribbon in zigzag. Ooh, green linen twine. I don't have the green linen twine here. Isn't that so annoying? Especially with that snail. There's a time lag. <laughs> okay, we'll go back to there because it won't drive you guys nuts. 
And then I will do, do linen thread. I'm grabbing some linen thread. Okay, you love these lines. You guys are so sweet because seriously, they're pretty like comical, disastrous right now. But I have just decided that we're all in the same boat. Oh, do you like that? You all just got your alert that it's time to get the dog stuff out. Oh, it's on the clearance rack today. Oh, Teddy, I'm going to have to go. Oh, yes, baby. Okay, sorry. There we go. I got excited. We're going with the organdy ribbon. I'm putting this on. I think I'll put it over top of the green, leave the white. Yes, yes, Jamie. I feel like I'm gonna bow this. A green circle behind the wood. Look at the ideas, love it. Chop, probably just chopped off too much. Don't really care. Highlight of my taste. I love you guys, seriously. I know, but Kim, like you say that and I'm like, that makes me melt. Like you were the highlight. You guys, you're your hubby. Those, I was like, oh my God, there are amazing, sweet people in the world who are willing to like sit in their homes and help me try and figure out a computer program that I don't understand. While we're at it, anyone want to work on uh, Microsoft Teams? Because teaching using Microsoft Teams, uh, it's not going so well. I want Zoom. Okay, I'm going to pull this back. Do Get your bits straight. I need Mare. Mare, can you come fluff my bow, please? <laughs> that sounded so wrong on so many levels. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pull. I don't like this one because it's got a twist in it. Okay, hang on. I have to redo it. It'll bother me. Does that bother anyone else when you get a twist in the wrong place? I totally... I know. Me too. Hi, Debbie. How are you, honey? Okay. we're trying. I'm trying to tie a bow, and I'm trying to keep the bits straight. And I'm... Oh, I should show you guys. Oh, you know what I should do right now? Hang on. I'm going to do this just because it's funny. Okay? Are you ready? I'll retie the bow. I know. But I have to show you this for a second. I'm going to go. I think that I can do this. I can go like that. Okay. And then can I just do... Nope. I think I have to do it another way. Hang on just a sec. I have to get rid of that. Everybody hold on. Okay? I know you're all still looking at things, but I'm going to cancel this. Okay. So I have to go back to me. Don't really want to go back to me. And then down here, I'm going to put my phone back in. We're going to give it a second because it's going to, I think it's going to ask me something. Okay. We're going to see if this works because this will be funny for you to watch. This is like our entertainment purposes. If this live goes south, and started it. Oh, Ange totally started it. Okay. So what I'm going to allow you to do is you're going to get to watch my face while I tie a bow. So you can see the bow in the picture in picture, yes? This is hilarious. You can't see what you're, oh, it's flashing. Give it a sec. I'm hoping it straightens itself out. It looks normal on my screen. Okay, well, I'm hoping it works. Anyway, basically, I'm tying the bow. I don't think it is gonna work. It looks like it's jumping. Rats. If the live goes, I seriously, I love you. That was so cute. It is flashing in there, I don't know why. Anyway, we'll take it off. So what I was going to do is actually I'll just leave it here. I'm tying the bow right now and you guys can giggle at my face while I try and tie a bow. That is entertaining. I know you can't see what I'm doing. Now you're just looking at me. Okay. So I totally get, I definitely make funny faces while I'm tying bows. Just a second. Tongues, tongues out for good measure. And then I'll show you the bow at the end. Is this comical? Or do you just, it has gone nuts. It's flashing, but we'll watch. No, don't worry, I'm just going back to me now. So it's okay. So you can just watch me because it'll be funny because then there'll be a pretty bow at the end, I'm hoping, if I don't just, you know, cut my fingers off right now. Okay, here we go, people. <clears throat> my tongue sticking out, wasn't it? Sorry. We're making funny bow faces, people. Make a funny bow. Oh, then I have an exercise for you to do that I read about today, and it's super funny, and you're going to have to do it while we're on. Okay. Oh, I think I got it. Oh. See? I'm hysterical. Why? Because I'm being weird and showing you all my weird things that I do. Okay. So, we now have a bow. It's not perfect, but it's, it's acceptable. We have got a cute little bow up on the side. Okay? 
Now, are you ready? We're going back to me because I have to tell you this. You totally stick your tongue out. I know. Okay, you ready? So here's your job right now. Everybody, I want you to take your right foot. So you have to be seated to do this. Everyone, focus because this is part of our stamping live today. So everyone's going to take the right foot and you're going to make clockwise circles with your right foot. Okay, everybody has to be doing clockwise circles with your right foot. Focus, clockwise. Okay, now what I want you to do is I want you to take your right hand and I want you to draw a six with your right hand. And I want you to tell me what happens. Don't lie. So your foot is doing clockwise circles to the right, yes people? And then you're going to draw a six with your right hand and tell me what happens. That's your job. Okay, you guys, you like the bow, very cute. Okay, but there, I'm gonna go back to me. Okay, I'm reading your comments because I know you're a little bit behind me. So now you have to go do the job that I just gave you, doing it. Okay, tell me what happens though, I need to know. Oh, I lost my words, there they are. Your foot's going crazy. Does it, my foot automatically starts going counterclockwise the second I drew my six. I know, Debbie Freeman, isn't that crazy? I can't do right foot, my foot circling clockwise. And I know, look at this, you guys are awesome. I love it. Your foot followed your finger. I know, okay, I'm glad. I feel better, we're all the same. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is we are going to take our tree stump Sorry, you didn't know that you were gonna get these like super weird lessons. Your foot goes counterclockwise, I know. This is what we do on Facebook Live. Forget making the card, we're doing weird brain exercises. I don't know what I have the twine out for yet, I'm not quite sure. Okay, so I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna put you like this. I want you to catch the edge of that ribbon so that it doesn't waggle, wiggle, waggle, woggle. Just a sec, it feels a little late. Don't hurt your paper or else it has to go there. Do you ever do that? You're like, oh, well, I was going to move that, but I guess I'm not now because I just ripped the paper. Da, da. You did it? No, Barb, you're like a genius. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. Ah, there's Diana. Okay, so we have got those. Now, first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I do like the green leaf a little bit better. So my green leaf... He's going to get a little bit of snail on him, and then we're going to attach him to his petal pink counterpart. Yes, yes, working. Now, I haven't decided yet. No, I like you on there. I'm going to put you on here. Okay. And we're going to come on here, and we're going to snail him up. You have to go for now. Bye, darling. Okay, so we're going to take that. And I, I really like this little notch in the wood. So we're going to take this and stick it out this way. Okay. Now, my You Are Wonderful is going to get popped up. Doot. And doot. I love how we were all trying that, though. You have to, like, I was reading about it, and I'm like, no way. I can totally do that. Do you ever have those moments? And then I realized, oh, I so cannot do that. Okay. So we're going to come on here. We'll go like that. Okay, and then we've got our last two. Um, I just have to figure out how I'm going to place you guys. Uh, maybe not. We'll just have those. I don't know if I want him kind of on the same diagonal. Nope, I don't want three there. I feel like he's weird. You're like the odd man out. That's not working. I do like you, but I just have to figure out where to put you. I like that. Okay. Do you ever have those? You gotta like move it around, tuck it all in. Doop. There we go. Okay, we're gonna tuck this in. Come right down here. And stick him on there. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm gonna use my little leaf. My little leaf was not doing it. Oh, I guess it could go. Yeah, no, it didn't do it for me. I like those better like that. Okay. Oh my gosh, I really have to be, take dog food out. Do you like that? Next thing we're going to do, you really like the card. And thank you. Well, we're just kind of messing around. Uh, except apparently I drove people nuts because they were dropping like flies for a while there. Now, I'm going to grab pearls, uh, champagne rhinestones, regular rhinestones. We're grabbing them all, people. Okay, so 
I feel like if I use, I like using the champagne ones because I like the color with it, but I feel like I have a package of these open. I do. Whew, don't want to open this another pack of those. Don't want to waste them. And jump over here. We're going to use some of our champagne rhinestones because I feel like you can totally pull off the petal pink look with the champagne. Like I feel like they just kind of work. Stay up at the top end. Dude. And you love this car. You guys are sweet. There. Now, there was something else I just thought of that I wanted to put on here. Oh, I know what it was. Where'd it go? It was another stamp. Um, just a sec. Actually, I actually have to find the stamp set. Okay. So, um, here we go. Let's see what you think. We're going to play with this. So, we're going to take this little stamp here. Now, if you missed it, the sentiments on this stamp say, be strong, be happy, be you. And I'm going to grab that whisper white cutie patootie card. You guys are so sweet. Um, I really like the bow. <laughs> the bow really made it for me. But now with this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink it up in that's early espresso. I've got ink all over my fingers tonight. There we go. Now we need to clean it. So I need to find my chamois. Probably should have thought about that before I started. Oh, there it is. The champagne rhinestones go with so many things. I know. Oh, I'm not changing anything. Kim, I've totally realized lately. I'm like, my loony is my loony. And I, I love you who all join in and laugh along with me. I feel like it uh, it has lightened the it has lightened my load. Does that make sense? I feel like it gives me my happy during the day. Okay, there we go. And then we're gonna grab some petal pink. We're doing this, anyone understanding what I'm doing, why I'm stamping three times right now? Okay. Mm -mm, just make sure I have no green ink on there before I stick it in here. Doot, and then we're gonna come over here and stamp that one. Okay, so Be Strong looks the best on my petal pink. I think I'm gonna go with that one. Okay, we're gonna close up the ink pads because the reality is I'm gonna stick something in them and it's not gonna end well for anyone. Move our little rhinestones off to the side. I'll put the extras back in it before I lose them. Okay, stuck. Okay, now from here what we're gonna do and I tend to just kind of keep these bits for later. I'll throw them right, right in the stamp case. But what I wanted was I wanted each one of these little words in a different color. So I'm just gonna go like that. Now this might look hideous and so I'll just throw it out and then we'll go back to where exactly where we just were. Because some of you are probably like, what are you doing? Each one a different color on the card. Your foot went up in the air. <laughs> You did the other day. See, I know. Just having those little... Okay. There. Uh, I like the Be Happy in the Mossy Meadow. I'm kind of looking at where I stamped it best. Who wore it best? In this case, Mossy Meadow is the happy one. There we go. Anyone else's have... I'm laughing right now. Teenager number two, is in the shower, and I'm giggling because he's watching a show while in the shower. You can hear it playing. I think he's watching Friends because I think I just heard Ross say, pivot, yes, which was making me giggle. Okay, be strong, be happy, be you. You are wonderful. Okay, hang on, tongue sticking out. I'm cutting. That I should have shown you. That would have been funny. You could have been like, woo, yours were all the same color. Oh, that's kind of fun. I love it. Hello, Meg. How are you, hon? We're cutting stuff up. We're making a big mess tonight. It's kind of fun. I have been on forever. Kath, I, uh, okay, I feel like it's back up. I don't know what happened. Who knows? There we go. Okay. Are you seeing me right now? 
you're back. I have no idea what that was that just happened. Just a sec, we're gonna try going back to there. Remote device was not connected. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna go back. I just lost, okay, you can see me. I don't want you to see me. We don't wanna see me. It, it lost, okay, no, it is showing it. Yes, good, okay. I was like, I don't want you looking at me. Can I, there we go, okay, good. I feel like it's moving again now. I just had to test it out. Glad you're back. I don't even know what happened. That was super weird. All of a sudden I could see your comments saying it was interrupted, but everything on my end looked totally normal. On card now, good, yay, okay. That was entertaining. These people must wonder about me when I upload these to YouTube. They must be like, what is this lady doing? What is happening? How are you doing? I am doing good. I think I'm doing good. Do you, are you guys, ever, anyone else having moments? Like I'll be doing amazing for a bit. And then all of a sudden I fall apart and I cry. And then I do amazing for a bit again. I mentioned Ross and Froze. Yes, I could hear. I was laughing because my child is in the shower but he's watching friends so I could hear Ross going pivot pivot I froze just like Ross there we go okay and we're gonna get this last little one tucked in kind of there what do you think is that okay so we have got be strong be happy be you you are wonderful. That was a Joey question. <laughs> I love it. You guys are awesome. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I'm going to flip back to me, see if it works. There we go. Um, it was awesome to see you and to play. And so just thank you, Debbie Freeman. Woo, woo. Little recap. So we were using our gorgeous rooted in nature woo, woo, stamp set. And we were using our coordinating dies. We were going through something unprecedented. Yes, that's right. the unprecedented reactions are huge. Oh my gosh, it's probably the dog food alert that's doing it. And then we used our Nature's Roots framelits. And then in terms of that DSP that I was playing with you guys, Debbie, you're way too cute. Yeah, me with my uh, matuka on my head, looking pretty hot. Um, the Magnolia Lane DSP was the one that we pulled in for this. Anyway, I hope you guys have an amazing evening. Thanks so much for joining me tonight. And then tomorrow's Wednesday, so I will be on at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time tomorrow. I always am on Wednesdays. Anyway, take care, guys. Night. I have to figure out how to end this. Ah, there we go.